Alright everybody, welcome back to the Anonymous Miner channel, and here we are, we're about one day from the halving of Ravencoin. What does that mean? That means that the block reward, every time that we finish a block, it pays out 5,000 Raven, and in one day, 37 minutes and 55 seconds as of recording this video, it's going to go to 2,500 Raven per block, meaning that instantly, as soon as that occurs in one day, the profits are going to be cut in half, technically unless the coin instantly doubles in price or the network hash rate instantly drops to half of what it currently is the value or the reward will instantly it's, it's all going to kind of balance out is what i'm getting at so we have three factors here three main factors the network hash rate the price of the coin and then the having coming up our block reward so those three put together are going to change this and they're going to be making this price and the profitability of Ravencoin very volatile over the next couple of days so and even months your profits might go through the roof they might go literally to half they might go to less than that it's really hard to speculate and it's none of this is financial advice it's again this channel is just what I'm doing so today if we go look at what to mind I have seven 3060s that I've been mining on Raven for like almost a year now since they came out pretty much and I'm actually gonna switch them over so here we are on what to mine and if I scroll down um, this is super zero right and it's been at the top for a while and if I actually change this a little bit let's go to the current profitability and recalculate I don't think it's up there anymore no it's not so the profitability is constantly changing on these top coins now I'm actually gonna scroll down here and I'm interested in flux now you might wonder why I'm not gonna mine one of these other top coins like ethereum or like super zero here or nice hash with each hash where you're converting nice ha the ETH hash or ethereum into Bitcoin automatically or Ravencoin is still up here but that's what I'm saying is this Ravencoin technically is gonna go to half of this in one day or it might change or we might find some new price discovery or whatever it is but this is not guaranteed over the next 24 hours to 48 hours and that's what I'm getting at now another thing that I'm looking at is if you guys have seen all the developments on flux lately they have a partnership with Nvidia they also decreased the requirement to run a node from 10,000 flux which was at 20 to 30 thousand dollars all the way down to 1,000 flux making it two to three thousand dollars to run a node and you can actually run it on a raspberry pi so can you guess what my plan is yes we are going to run a node on a raspberry pi eventually so right now i am mining the flux and we're picking it up if we come over here to my hive os here is one of my rigs, and it's actually Equihash125 forward slash 4. That's the algorithm. Like ETHash here is for Ethereum. Equihash125 forward slash 4 is the algorithm that we're mining for Flux. Right? And now I also want to go through here and show this part is really easy to set up. The flight sheet, I chose the coin of Flux. Um, the wallet I'm using is Zelcor. The pool that I'm using is Hero Miners and the actual mining software that I'm using is Gminer. Now, in Gminer, I did create a couple extra arguments that I'm only using my 3060s, but that stuff's pretty simple. That's all pretty straightforward. Now, if I open up Hero Miners, and we take a look at my flux mining, right now it shows us at 166.53 K souls, which is thousands of solutions a second. K stands for thousands, SOL stands for solutions, and the bat forward slash S means per second. So we are doing about 170,000 solutions per second right now. My average is about 250, that's what it normally would be. And the profit right now, last 24 hours I've made $11. The last week I've made $52. And now this is where it gets kind of interesting, this parallel assets balance. This won't be paid out until later, and it's all of the assets that I'm entitled to from mining, where these assets are built onto the 
blockchain, Flux blockchain, and as we're processing transactions, I get paid out on those as well. So it won't get paid out for a while, but if we look over my last week, I'm owed 20, or I got paid 20 Flux, and they still owe me 6.1. So that's pretty good. That means that I made, what, like 70 bucks last week? And it's still not over, technically, because I haven't been mining. Oh, no, it is, actually. As of today, I've been mining for one week, because look at this. The total paid is 21, and last week paid 20. So, I made 20 flux in one week, and with an extra 6.17 in parallel assets. So about 26, 25 flux a week. That means I need 1,000 of them, 4 weeks for 100, and times 10, so about 40 weeks. So it's going to be almost a year to mine all of my flux. Now I'll probably end up buying some flux just to get this node up and running right quick. But I probably won't stop mining the flux because this is a project that is up and coming and I really believe in it. So I just wanted to show you guys today, bring some attention to the Ravencoin having, and show you guys what I'm doing as far as mining the flux and getting ready to run my own node. Now after I collect enough flux to run my own node, will I switch back to Ravencoin? I'm kind of hoping that the price discovery or the network hash rate or everything kind of levels out and the profits increase again. But me personally, I'm not a big solo miner. I'm not a big gambler or a risk taker. So I like the consistent rewards and I see this as a consistent reward long term to get my flux node spun up. So thanks again guys for tuning in today. If you could like, comment, and subscribe and I hope to see you on the next one. And that's been it. So good luck with the Raven having coming up.